today I wanted to be showing you a review on Paint.net, which is an alternative to Photoshop. I showed you this before in another video on how to get it. Um, Paint.net is a really lightweight program. You can get it for free at paint.net.com. You can check out another video if you need directions on how to get it. But it's got a whole set of tools. Um, you can get plugins for it. For it's called effects up here in the tab, but you can get a whole list of plugins for it. You got your photo plugins. You have glow, film. Uh, let's see. Let's open something to show you how some of those works. So we'll open it up. We'll open Angel Wings. Okay, so we'll draw in here. Right big blue circle and we'll go to effects. And it so it, it comes with a few plugins already built into it, but also on the website it shows a list of uh plugins by developers for the program on there. And it's open source so I, I believe so anyone can uh, develop plugins for it, and you can just publish them on there. I believe you do have to become part of the site. And it's got a lot of built-in um, uh, auto keys for it. So right here is Control F to repeat an action that you just did. So it will continuously repeat that. Now you have that. And the other thing is, is if you don't want to mess with the original, then you can you can open up a new layer for it and you can have repeat layers on it and um, as far as I know you can have as many layers as you want and with the edit we have undo and you can do it undo as many times as you want it's got an infinite undo on it so if you make any mistakes you can you can undo it and continue undoing it so you know if, if you do something twice you, you can go back through it instead of having to redo the entire image so we have, yeah, this is just a netbook right now, so it doesn't have the uh, best processor in it. Um, hold on one second. Okay, program's not working. Yeah, let's open it back up again. It runs fine on a regular computer, and it actually run fine on this netbook if I didn't have so much running on it right now. But I've got. Facebook running on it, and Facebook's got like 100,000 uh, on the processor right now, so. Uh, let's see. So we have adjustments which you can uh, mess with the base of the picture so you can use you can mess with the colors, the RGB balance. Um, you can go invert on it, invert alpha, invert output. You can mess with all the color levels on here. You can go to sepia, which makes it look like it's an old photo. Um, Yeah, and it also has updates a lot of stuff, so a lot of stuff will automatically update you. And here you go, so paint.net effects download now. And a lot of people just, you know, design it. So you can open it up and install it yourself, or it has auto installers. Let's continue to go back here. So I'm going to open up something else, and I'll show you. Uh, Okay, we'll open this up. So now we can go to adjustments and we can we can change the color levels on it. Let's go to sepia too. So now it looks like it's an older photo. You can go back to gray. Rest of the grayscale. So on effects we also have 
um, we used to mess with the photo with. We can do adjustments, advance. Let's go to blurs. Blurs, we have the uh, photo blur. Where's that? I don't need Yeah, I guess I don't have that plugin on this one. I have it on the regular computer, but on here. You go to film, and it, it's a sort of blur on here. It's supposed to make it look like it's an action film, but it doesn't really look. You can also control the uh, the amount of the effect that you choose on here, so that it does what you you want it to. There's a lot of cool things about Paint.net, and um, I, I personally use this over Photoshop because most of the plugins you can get for Photoshop you have to pay for, and you can get the same plugins for Paint.net for free, and you can get a lot more than you can for Photoshop. Uh, the one thing that, you know, I, I prefer for Photoshop is with the, uh, the magic tool or selecting tool. It, it doesn't choose as well as it does, because the one in uh, Photoshop, you know, seems to know what you want. While this one just randomly selects patches of stuff, so you can click on the same thing. And okay, sometimes it does it. You can click on the same thing and it'll come up with a kind of different thing. So, I would, I really recommend this program for you if you're looking for something to replace Photoshop with and, and you're looking for something that's free, because Paint.net works just as well as Photoshop and it's a really lightweight program, it's free. <laughs> so, overall this is a really good program, um, I hope you enjoy the video.